Hello, I've got a quick full body head workout for you today. So we're going to go straight into our warm up with some squats. So your feet are up shoulder width apart, bending your knees, weight is through your heels, and you're engaging your core. Okay, so we'll just do a few more of these. Three and two and one. We're going to take it to some lunges. So I'm going to turn side on so you can see what I'm doing. We're bending both knees. Just going down and then coming up. So you want to be at your back foot, you want to be on the ball of your foot, okay? So pushing off your toes, good. Again, you want to keep your core engaged and you want to keep your torso nice and upright. Good, we'll do one more. One. Well done, swapping over. <clears throat> so today's workout, I'm going to have the timer on, so I'm going to have the buzzer going. Got six different exercises to do. We're going to be working at different work to rest ratios. We'll do four rounds. Be really quick, but high intensity. Good. Okay, so now you're going to um, bring your feet out to a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. We're still warming up. Arms up nice and straight. You're going to bring your knee up as your hands travel down. Okay. Good one for getting the heart rate up. This one. The arms and the legs moving. Good. A couple more. Three. Two and one, swapping over to the other side. Nice strong arms, good. That's it. Keep it up, three more, three, two, one, well done. You're gonna bring your feet together, you're gonna step up to a side lunge. So stepping up, bending the knee that's traveling out to the side. The leg that's staying still, you're gonna keep that straight. So you should feel a little bit of a stretch on the inside of your thigh and the leg that's traveling out you should feel like that's doing a little bit of work good a couple more so two more and one more inch side rather one two awesome and then we're going to take some walkouts you're going to bend your knees you're going to walk your hands down onto the ground walking them back up again good walking out we're doing four of these in total see so halfway through this is number three good and number four. Well done. All right. Roll your shoulders. Make sure you've got some water handy. And um, we'll start off on our first round. So the first exercise we're doing is squats. And then we're doing some mountain climbers, some skaters. We're doing high knees. We're doing some plank shoulder taps and some reverse jacks. So I'll show you the modifications um, where they are available. Okay, so we're going to start off with squats. First round, we're going to keep the squats low impact. In this um, later round, I'll show you a higher impact version if you want. So we're straight into our squats, good. So just like you did in the warm up, nothing different. So bending those knees, turn the side on, you know, drop your bum down. You don't want to go lower than about 90, okay? Good. And just make sure your knees are going in the same direction as your toes. Okay, that's a little buzzer to say that we've finished that. Yay! Mountain climbers, you're going to get yourself into a nice straight strong plank. Um, shoulders over the wrist, and then you're going to bring your knee up to your chest. So I'm showing you the low impact version of the first round, okay? So knee comes up. Bracing that core. Just keep your, make sure your bum's not up too high but you don't want it sagging down too low either because you don't want an arch in your back foot. So well done. 20, second goes, 20 seconds goes quickly, doesn't it? All right, next up is, I call this a puddle jump. All right, so you're just hopping from side to side like you're jumping over an imaginary puddle, okay? So you can make the puddle as big or as small as you like. All right, for the next round, we're gonna take this to a skater, which is a progression of this move. Now, if you don't want to do any jumping, you can just take a nice big side step for this exercise. Good work. Okay, so next up, high knees. Again, if you've got problems with your knees or you can't do anything high, high impact, just marching on the spot. Otherwise, just bring those knees up, jump, running on the spot, get those arms going as well. You need to take this low impact and march on the spot, that's totally fine. Work at your pace, your level. Good. Well done. We're back down onto the ground again for some plank shoulder taps. So you've got two options here. So first of all, you can just hold it in a plank, straight arm plank, or you can tap 
your shoulder, so you're with one hand you're tapping the opposite shoulder, you're trying to keep your hips still. So I don't want swinging from side to side, so try and keep your hips really still, engage your core. That's it. Good, nearly there. Well done. Last exercise in this round is what I call a reverse jack. So you're standing with your arms up nice and high, hands up high, jumping out and bringing your arms down, okay? Off you go. If you want to take it low, you're just doing a side tap. Otherwise, you're jumping out into a wide squat. A backwards jack. Good. We call these star jumps in New Zealand. But I know. In other places, they call jumping jacks. Awesome. That's the first round done. So, next up, we're going for 25 seconds with a 15 second break. So, first exercise is squats. If you want to get to a squat jump with me, you can. Otherwise, if you don't want to do any jumping, just carry on with the squats, just like you did in the first round. So, landing on soft knees, weight goes through those heels. Good. That's it. See if you can get really nice and high. Good, nearly there. Oh, that hurts. Well done. All right, we're going down now for our mountain climbers. So we're going to take it up to the more advanced version, which is really where you're going to jog your knee in towards your chest. Okay, if you're not ready for this, just do the move we did in the first round, which is where you just kind of walk your knees in and out towards your chest. So take out the little jog. Good, remember to get that bum down. Not so far down that your back is sagging. And you want to keep your shoulders and your wrist. Good. Keep it up. Working hard. Well done. There's that bell. A welcome sound. All right. Little recovery. <coughs> and we're taking it to some skaters. So this time, either you do your puddle jump, like you did the first time, or you take it to a skater, which is where you sink down nice and low. Good. Keep it up. Got 10 more seconds here. Good. That's it. A couple more seconds. Well done. A quick drink of water before we go down to the floor. Oops, no, high knees. How could I forget that? All right. Whew. Off we go. So high knees or brisk marching on the spot. Whichever version you do, try and get your arms moving as well. So we think about pumping those arms. That's it. Keep it up. Keep going. You're doing there. Well done. Whew, that's tough. All right, a little recovery. Grab your water if you need it. Get your breath back. We are going down to the ground this time for the plank shoulder taps. Off we go. Good. So slow it down with this one. You don't want to rush those taps. Really control through your core. Try and keep your hips still. So remember, we don't want to be rocking from side to side. Good. That's it. Keep going. Well done. Waiting for the sound of that bell. There it is. All right. Roll your shoulders. A little break. And then we've got our reverse jacks. So remember, if you want to take it lower impact, you can take it to a side tap. Okay? Just pulling your arms down. Otherwise, jumping up to a wide squat. The arms come down as you jump down, landing on soft knees, good, stay nice and strong through that core, don't let your upper body kind of collapse, I know it's tiring, good, we're nearly there, well done, well done, awesome work, okay, Whew. let's hit the pause, grab some water, We've got our third round coming up. This is the longest round. So we're working for 30 seconds. A 
This is the toughest. So you're gonna have to dig deep. I certainly am. All right, so we're starting with squats or squat jumps. All right. <clears throat> the awesome thing about hip training is you're working for relatively short intervals and not for a long time. So this workout's probably only about 15 minutes long, but you will be burning fat for a long time afterwards. So you're really ramping up your metabolism. Good, getting that heart rate up. Jumping up nice and high. Almost there. Well done. Oh, one last jump. Okay. Down on the floor for mountain climbers. My leggings seem to be determined to slide down today. I don't know why that is. These are normally my foolproof leggings. Oh. Good. Keep it up. You can do it. Come on. Stay with me. This is the hardest round. If you can get through this, you can definitely get through the last round. And then you nailed it. Good. Hey, keep it up, come on. Keep going. It's not that long. Well done. Oh, tough. All right. Getting ready for skaters. This is another tough exercise. Remember, if you want to just keep it down to the puddle jump or a really big side step to keep it low impact, that's fine, okay? Work within your limits. Good, okay. So really sit down nice and low. Push off that outside leg. See how much distance you can get as you travel sideways. Good. Nearly there. It's tough, I know. Stay with me. Three more seconds. Well done. Oh. All right. High knees. So it's another um, heart raiser one, but more of a cardio one. So use the recovery time just to let you catch your breath. We're going to keep the intensity up. That's why we have little short recovery periods. Get the knees up nice and high, nice and light on those toes. shoulder taps. All right, so down to the ground and then we're going to start 30 seconds. Good. So with your hip workouts it is important that you warm up and that you do a little cool down and stretch. I will take you through some very quick stretches at the end of this but please if you've got time just spend a few more minutes doing some stretches, okay? It is important. But I have promised you a near 15 minute workout. I wanna to stick to that, but definitely spend a, few, a couple of extra minutes doing some stretches at the end. Okay, reverse jacks. All right, we have got 10 more seconds of our recovery. Okay, all right. Let's do it. Come on, where are you? And off we go. Good. That's it. That's it. Keep it up. We've just got one more round after this and we're working for 20 seconds with a 10 second interval that'll be over in about four, two or three minutes. Not long. Good. Fabulous. Keep it up. And that's the last one. Good work. Okay. 
Now's the time to grab some water and we'll get ready for one more round. 20 seconds on the clock, 10 second recovery. Six exercises. Okay, so we're starting off with our jump squats. Jumping up and landing on top of it. Or you're doing a regular squat without any jump. God. That's it, keep it up. Good, come on. You can do it, nearly there. Well done. 10 second recovery down onto the floor for our mountain climbers. So remember we want wrists and lower shoulders. Bringing this knee, knee up towards the chest. Nice, strong and straight through that torso. Don't let that bum sink down or stick up too high. Good. You're nearly there. Almost on the mountain climbers. Good. Well done. Up onto your feet. Skaters next. Okay. Very quick recovery on this one. And off we go. Big jump to the side. Landing on soft knees. That's it. Good. Come on. That's it. Oh, I can feel my legs getting tired. How are yours doing? I'm already thinking about what I'm going to have for lunch. <laughs> After this, maybe some poached eggs. Mm, yum. Avocado. Alright, high knees, off we go. Let's not get distracted with thoughts about lunch. There was a little bit more to go. Not long though. That's it, come on. Your knees are nice and high. That's it. A few more seconds here. And well done. Good work. Okay, two more exercises to do. And then you are done. Oh, plank shoulder taps. Down and around. Good. That's it. If you're starting to get tired with this, or you're finding it too hard on your wrists, you can come down to a forearm plank, okay? So just put your forearms on the ground and then stay up in your plank position. This one's on the ground. All right, one last exercise. Go do it very quickly. And we are nearly there. And off we go. Good. Lovely. <clears throat> Almost there. That's it. Keep it up. Couple more minutes. Seconds rather. Well done, good work. Okay, that was four rounds. That was pretty tough, pretty intense. And you should be feeling quite tired, <laughs> I am. All right, so as I said, I'm gonna take you through a few just quick stretches, if I can find my balance. You're gonna pick one foot up, and then bring your heel up towards your bum. Good. Just let your breath slow down, your heart rate slow down, your breathing slow down. Good, other side. As I said, if you do have some more time, please do a few more stretches. Good. Okay, and now you bring one foot out in front of you straight, toes come off the ground, and you're going to sit back so you should feel a nice stretch to the back of your calf and a little bit up into your hamstrings of that straight leg. Good. What you want to do is you want to make sure you're not um, trying to, you're not supporting yourself on your knee, okay? So just pop your hand on your thigh. To help with balance. Good. So same thing on the other side. Good. Lovely. Okay. So you're going to um, hug your arms behind your knees. You're going to pull up and away from you with your. Sh feel like you're sort of really stretching and opening up through the shoulder blades. Try and straighten your legs if you can. Bring that forehead towards your knees. Good. Drop your arms nice and long. See if you can get your hands down onto the ground, fingertips, and then you roll yourself up and roll out through the shoulders. You bring one arm across. Good, just hold it there. Good. And the other arm comes across. And a couple of nice big shoulder rolls. And you're all done. Awesome work. And as I said, 
Do a few more stretches, take a little bit more time to stretch and relax if you can. Good work and I'll see you at the next workout.